Major in traditional Chinese medicine, Simon, a young French guy, has been in China for 10 years. This time, we'll follow him to explore the mystery of traditional Chinese medicine and to see his plan after graduation. Hi, my name is Simon. Uh, I'm coming from France. Uh, I have two master degree, one in Chinese medicine, one in anthropology cultural studies, and uh, I'm living in China for 11 years. I'm an anthropologist, so I've been in China because I was studying China and Chinese culture. And through my studies, I've been more and more uh, involved into the discovering of acupuncture. Chinese medicine, this is a, a, big, a big field and this is not easy and we need to, uh, to understand what Chinese medicine means. In the Chinese medicine part, I, stu I study my major which are uh, acupuncture and mox division and Tui Na. You have all the, the old Chinese text. Yeah, it demands a lot of effort and for the diagnosing part also, it demands a lot of uh, experience. We rely on the, on the pulse and on the tongue. By taking the pulse and by seeing the tongue, you are able to see the condition of the patient. This is what I, I think this is the most fancy part. I'm planning to, to stay in China for, for a little bit of time and then go back to France in order to, to have my own cabinet. I like to do a lot of things. I like to play music. I studied music when I was uh, in university. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm working in Y Plus uh, as a yoga teacher. Yoga and Chinese medicine are really similar in some aspects. We have uh, an excellent yoga community here in Shanghai. I've been living in Shanghai for 10 years, something like that. I, I saw so many changes, it goes really fast. And the more uh, I, I'm living in Shanghai, and the more I can see that we have uh, access to many cultural uh, activities. 